The AI Makerspace, uh, the way I think about it, is a sandbox for uh, students and educators to uh, understand and use AI in the classroom, where students would be able to perform at-scale projects, projects which are realistic, which are at the same scale of complexity as real-world examples. So for us to be able to kind of uh, build an infrastructure like this for the students, it requires us to partner with a company like NVIDIA, who has all the know-how on, on how to build such an infrastructure. And so what we're looking for is somewhere to unleash the creativity of our students. And that is giving them tremendous compute and that coupled with you know, ideas that they may have. Uh, maybe it came from the classroom, or maybe it's just discussions with you know, fellow students, then they can go and use this co compute to build different models, build different systems, build different applications that, that uh, leverage AI. So while my class mainly focuses on providing me with theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge, I feel like the AI Makerspace will provide me with the necessary computing power in order to help me build my own AI projects which will help me succeed not only in school, but also in the job market. So it's important for our undergrads to have access to the AI makerspace because we ultimately want them to be AI native. So the goal is to get them in from high school, make sure they're exposed early on so they'll have these AI resources to leverage in their engineering courses throughout their curriculum and also beyond when they go to the workplace. Most of this infrastructure that exists in other universities are primarily dedicated to research. But here I think our main aim is to kind of you know, start with our students. We start with our undergraduate students, we start with our graduate students and essentially provide access to classrooms so that all our physical makerspaces that we have in our engineering schools have access to a virtual makerspace, the AI makerspace. So every project that needs AI now has the infrastructure. We are innovators. This is the next thing. There are going to be things after this, right? But we're innovators, not just in the lab, but also in the classroom.